well, I asked you to write your favorite letter. And uh, I'm going to take the first one and model something out of it. So just type something in. I'm going to take it. Oh, S. Cool. So what can we do with S? Sharon votes for S. Shocker. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Right. Um, yeah, do we want to go? Maybe, maybe also um, a second uh, suggestion. Um, a font. Just throw in a right. font. A font? A font. Just uh, like Arial, Comic Sans, Times New Roman. Please not Comic Sans, but I think we can handle it anyways. So if Papyrus. you add something, <laughs> which one that? Papyrus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, is, is that even a... Well, we, we can go with that. Sure. Okay, so let's... Um, oh, God. <laughs> let's create a text line. And I'm going to set the text to S and make it aligned in the middle. And then we're going to choose... Papyrus. The, the cool thing about that is that the shape of this can also. Here we go. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Um, yeah, so what can we do with that? That's actually not as slick as I wanted it to be, but hey. I think I you mean, are allowed to change it. It's, it's okay if you want to change it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to go with this one. Okay, what I do is um, I'm going to extrude it first. So I'm going to hold down Alt um, while I select, or while I have the text line selected, and then I create the extrude in order to extrude it. And I think for now it's a little bit too much. So let's go with. You know, I thought it was pretty cool, like Jonas, when you uh, drew one from a spline when we were like practicing this. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but that's not the request, is it? Well, now now I asked um, for a font, and now I got one. I think I, I now have to, yeah, yeah. to stick to that. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Simon. Just, just make my own rules. Thanks, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to the caps, and I'm going to increase um, the size here and maybe invert it, because I think that's... That's I like quite that. cool. And maybe maybe let's decrease the offset here. Something yes, like please. that. And and then there was something I I saw in one of Lionel's sessions where he just threw that into a volume builder. Uh, here we go. A volume builder. And I just decrease the voxel size to two, maybe to one maybe to 0 0.5, something like that. And in the extrude, I'm going to bring up the segment count. Let's bring it up to 10 to um, make this a little bit rounder here. And now I'm going to make this um, or turn it into geometry. That was the wrong one. I need the volume measure. So here we go. That's cool. And I think I can smooth it a little bit, but just a little bit. That's way too much. I think a voxel distance of one is okay. And also the strength at well something around this here is also fine. So here we go. 